Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with Mini Kit Mondays. This is layout number one for August 2018. Now, I did pull out for this mini kit, I kind of cheated a little bit, or a lot, whichever. I pulled out a whole paper pad for it. This one right here I just pulled out has some holographic on the back. That's going to serve as the base of my layout. And it says like, happy birthday, hip hip hooray, happy day, things like that on it. And then I'm going to pull out a few other papers. I think maybe four or five. And I'm going to pull out my little mini, um, Mm -mm -mm. what's it called alphabet punch board for it <laughs> I haven't used that for a while in fact this is only the second time I've used it I hate it I don't remember it being such a pain in the butt the first time I'm still gonna keep it I'll try it again just in case this time I was just really off or something but I don't like the way it came out now when I took the letters and I put them on my background they did not stand out at all. They totally blend into the background. So I am going to back those on black. You will not see that on camera. Right here were some Pink Fresh Studios. Um, they're kind of like hard puffy stickers. I don't know what they're called. But I went ahead and pulled out the words the twins turn. And with the alphabet punch board, I am going to put, I'm going to spill out 50. And I'm going to use all the different patterns. I don't show the whole thing. I only show like cutting the F, I think. Maybe partially the I. I don't know. Anyways, it didn't it didn't really turn out very good. So I went ahead and backed it in black. Now you can tell when I backed it in black, you can totally tell the black is hand cut. It's not the best. This is this is not gonna be my favorite layout ever. It's okay. I've been doing this thing lately where I'm kind of having a little bit of a time challenge. I am ki I'm trying to keep my layouts under an hour. Maybe an hour and 15 because I spend so much time on making one layout and I just don't have that kind of time at this right now. At this point in my life, I don't have that kind of time at this very moment. So I'm seeing if I can challenge myself to make layouts in under an hour. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, this is for Mini Kit Mondays. So joining me this month is Tracy Rancier, Daisy Niemeyer, Kathy Feigl, and Dolly Boyd. I will link them all down below. So go and check out theirs and see what they are doing. I am going to head over there and check them out as well. Just to have a little look-see. I love them all. They all have really really cute pages so it'll be worth your time all right so i'm going to go ahead and back my photos on this black as well it does have a yellow border and then again i'm going to back them on the black and the reason i did that is because the 50 was backed on black i kind of wanted to tie that in a little, just a little bit more i am going to try and pull out a couple more black elements these photos are kind of dark these are photos that i had to download off of facebook so the resolution's not really fabulous. I did have to print them all in 3x4. I still do love them though. Alright, so I did pull out those two mint doilies that I had in my kit originally. One's going to go in the upper right hand corner and one is going into the lower, no, lower right hand, upper left hand. I don't know my hands. That cupcake I put down there at the bottom of this photo, that is one I fussy cut out of one of the papers. And then there was also a sticker called, that said you and me on it. That was an old Scraptastic sticker, which I am going to go with. Right here, I'm just putting double-sided tape on all of my things. I don't know why I'm not using my ATG at this point. <laughs> it's easier. I think it's because I have the double-sided tape. It's kind of funny because I, I think I'm going to mention this or did previously mention this, but someone was saying in one of their videos, I don't recall who it was, but... Why do why does people have so many adhesives? Well, I have an irrational fear of running out of adhesive. That's why I have so much adhesive. I don't know why anybody else does, but that's that's why I have so much adhesive. It's like I if it's on sale, I'm going to buy it. If I go to Michaels and don't find anything else there that I want, I'm buying adhesive with my 50% off coupon. That's just what I'm going to do. All right, so I went ahead and popped that Cupcake, cupcake up on some double-sided tape. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and lay down those letters. It says the twins turn, 
and then of course the big word down at the bottom says 50. Also in that further right hand corner you can see Barbie is wearing a five around her neck, the big old air balloon, and Debbie's wearing the zero, so 50. All right, so this cluster up here at the top left, it's giving me a hard time, and like I said, I'm trying to do a little bit of a time challenge, so uh, it's throwing me for a little bit of a loop. I try out so many things up on this corner, it is ridiculous. What I end up going with is a chipboard heart. I think I'm going to pull out here in a minute. That's a chipboard bow. That's Maggie Holmes, and that was really cute as well. I didn't keep that though. Now I did into this kit I did pull in a whole bunch of different kind of bows but you know to tell you the truth neither one of the girls Barbie or Debbie are really much bow people. I'm not that's not to say I'm not going to use bows on any of their layouts but sometimes I'm not really feeling it when it comes to them. Debbie might would wear a little like a bow clip in her hair if it's dainty and um, not big and gaudy. Barbie might would tie a bandana around her ponytail <laughs> into a bow. I don't know. They're just, they're not super, super girly. All right, so there was this word that said capture. That is going to go up at the top there. And then I pulled out this pink chipboard heart. That is going to go there as well. Rifling through here, I am going to find this tag right here. It is by Felicity Jane. It was way back when the, um, you had to cut out the tags, all you know, the tags and stuff on your own. That's where this one was. So it was, it was from quite a while ago. I did pull out my big bite croc, no crocodile, nope, crocobite. Bite a croc. I don't, I can't remember what it's called. That big bite crocodile thing, and I pierced a hole for the tag, and then I did that loop de loo with the crochet thread in white around it and then I stuck it under that photo right there. So I'm still trying to complete this. Here I am going to go ahead and commit to that capture and then I'm going to go ahead and put some double-sided tape on the back of this tag as well I believe. That little cupcake is also fussy cut out of a paper and it is going to go right above the capture sitting on top of that tag. Now when I go and start putting down sequins, on this page I didn't do any um, sprinkles by the way because I didn't have any I thought would really look good because this is, mm, what's it called? Holographic? I don't really like the golden holographic very well together. I found this out the hard way by using it on a layout that had holographic on it. I didn't care for that. Anyways, when I go and put down all these sequins, I'm going to have one up on that tag but in the final pictures you'll see that is not there. I went ahead and took it away. These are those sequins I pulled into the kit. They're by 28 and Lilac Lane. They're different sizes of black. Some are big and some are small and some seem like they're more cupped than the others. I'm just going to use liquid adhesive to put them down. I am out of the, the really small zots, so I am just going to use liquid adhesive. Right there, I'm finding something else to watch on YouTube or Netflix. Who knows? That's usually what it means when my arm is like extended like that across the page. My tablet is sitting over there. All right, so after I do that, I am going to pull out these Tim Holtz tie, little letter tile stickers, and I am just going to spell out July 2018. Their party was actually on July 21st, I believe, but their birthday is not till July 23rd. So I just spelled out July 2018 because I was actually having this thing in my head like do I put the 21st or do I put the 23rd because their birthday is not really till the 23rd but the party was on the 21st but the, if I stamp it the 23rd then it's not true. Okay I just skipped the date and just put July 2018. Yeah I'm weird that way. It's crazy. All right, guys, after I do that, I do not do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.